स्पोर्ट्स से जुड़ी किसी भी छोटी या बड़ी अपडेट के लिए सब्सक्राइब करें स्पोर्ट्स तक और साथ ही किसी भी नोटिफिकेशन को पाने के लिए बेल आइकन को दबाना ना भूलें Yeah, we um, looking at the first three games. We were looking to win at least two to set up the series well. But the fact that we have won three is is an outstanding achievement. Um, and the thing that stands out for me is the uh, relentless intensity with which the guys have played uh, throughout these three games. Not relaxing after two nil up as well, which I think is very very important. Now they've started to realize how to how to close series and. you know how to capitalize when we have uh, advantage in a series so um, yeah it's it's great if you if you see the bowlers they were as hungry as the first two games wanting to pick wickets shami running in bhuvi bowling good areas hardik was really really good today as well uh, and those two spinners are uh, you know quality anyway so yeah o- overall I, i am very very pleased with how the three games have gone and they've all been very clinical performances sir now for hack you have some time I think the last five games, if you see two in Australia and uh, three here, um, I said number four is still something that we'll we're looking to solidify, but. when raidu starts playing like that um you start feeling more confident about the batting lineup dinesh is in great form as well so he can step in at any time in case you know we need to shuffle the middle order at any stage ms is hitting the ball really well so everyone's in a good zone i don't feel after looking at the first three games that we have a lot to worry about uh, again those 30 to 40 over period is is something that as i said we we want to capitalize batting first because when you're chasing you anyways you know going after a target that's big but when batting first you you don't know how much to set so um that is up to the two people batting in the middle who's the guy who wants to take that initiative and who's the guy who wants to or has to bat till the end so i think it it will boil down to communication but that that's definitely going to be a team goal not just for us but all around the world if you see the pattern um of teams that are getting big scores that is the window they are targeting and we want to do the same and get those 15 20 extra runs okay uh we got congratulations first of all and uh, my question is that uh, happy to see the hardik uh, back in the team it will give more strength to the bowling attack and all run this out as well compared to vijay and other yeah very very um good to have him back um you know he's someone who provides a lot of balance to the team um and the way he he bowled today showed that he went back and he was practicing his skills um you know he put his head down and wanted to focus on what he needs to do and you can tell with the way he bowled with intensity straight away uh, picking two wickets as well crucial wickets at that stage um so yeah he's he's someone who will give you those important contributions overall in all three departments and that's something any team would love to have and uh, when he comes into the side as you see our bowling attack and our batting lineup also looks much more balanced so um yeah it, it's good to have him back and in a good head space in 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 the right kind of uh, mind frame to perform for the team and i hope he can keep um, growing with this performance and build on to this uh, very you talk about the intensity and the uh, the concentration and hard work done by your team with you going is there any danger that that intensity will slip or will you be guarding against that within the team not at all i mean um, you know now things are more or less uh, running on auto mode for us um, i don't necessarily need to throw myself around to ask the others to do the same they all in a great space uh, we love playing together as a team and i was just saying at the post match with simon that in the end when those two guys were finishing the game for us we were all sitting together and clapping for every run there was no communication from my side or the coach's side to do that but the fact that we like doing these things as a team shows on the field as well so i don't think with me going the intensity will drop you know there there guys who are willing to or waiting for an opportunity to play for the country and um, you'll see even more energy with them you know especially some youngsters coming in so um, i'm quite excited for them quite happy for them they're getting a chance and um i'm very happy that i'm leaving when we won the series already so that gives me a bit of relaxation as well but yeah the intensity is going to be the same because it's more of a team culture now uh, and not necessarily have to do have anything to do with me thank you 
probably been a little bit demoralising for New Zealand. It's not a thing psychologically for your side ahead of the World Cup, but one of your rivals at the World Cup that they really sort of put some question marks against their performances. Yeah, look, New Zealand's a very strong ODI side. Um, so when you play like that against them, it gives you a lot of confidence as a team. And when you're going to play them again, obviously you can take a lot of confidence from the last time you played them. That's usually how international cricket works. Uh, you might have an upper hand when you play them again, but in a tournament like World Cup, you never know what kind of confidence a team is carrying when you play them. Um, if it's the first game, then you can sort of bank on these things. But if they've had a great tournament already before playing us and they're in great space, then you know it, this series is not a guarantee that we'll have an upper hand against them in the World Cup. So we'll have to start well, we'll have to create momentum. It's a long tournament, a lot of league games. Um, we're just fine-tuning everything that we need to as a team. Um, but come World Cup, every team will have to be at their best and uh, you know that their intense best. And that's something that we are wanting to create as a habit with looking at these first three games. We want to be relentless and continue our performances so that we can go through a long tournament like World Cup without feeling complacent at any stage. Final question. Yeah. Uh, Coley, that dropping that first catch and then taking that second one, what was going through your head when you had your hands up? It was a bit of a stinger. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought I had it covered, but the, the breeze was, the wind was too strong. And um, I, I couldn't read the ball. It, it, it drifts away from you very quickly in the end. And I couldn't judge the ball at all. And um, yeah, I, I don't like dropping catches. I, I like to uh, maintain my standard in the field because I, I feel that that is one place that you can contribute a lot uh, standing in the field for the team. So I was quite disappointed, but yeah, Ish was um, gracious enough to give me one more and that was an easier one because it was flat and not in the air. But yeah, it was quite funny and the, the guys were <laughs> laughing at me at the boundary line and I was like, I was being cheered two minutes back, but you know, that's, that's how the game goes. It was a funny moment, but yeah, I, I'm glad I got the next one. Will you be staying in New Zealand or are you going, uh, uh, going away from New Zealand after this? I'm done with the last press conference, thank you. Thank you.